In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning and welcome as we gather here to celebrate our Mass today. And today there's the optional Mass of celebration, the feast of St. John Paul II. And uh, Pope John Paul II who was born actually a hundred years ago uh, this year. He was born in 1920 and became Pope in 1978 and died in 2005. But as we gather together to celebrate Mass in his honour, we pause for a few moments and we ask the Lord to pardon all the times we may have failed, either in thought, word or deed. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O oh God, who are rich in mercy, and who will that St. John Paul II should preside as Pope over your universal church, grant, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, we may open our hearts to the saving grace of Christ, the sole redeemer of humankind, he who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. reading from a, the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you, in accord with the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine by the power at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. The earth, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever. The design of his heart through all generations. Blessed, blessed the nation whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. 
The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think I have come to establish peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For now a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Sorry, I just happen to be looking out from here and I see some people who don't, are not wearing masks. Could they please put them on? Because it is a thing that the church, uh, the, the bishop has asked us to do this. And it's only that way can we allow to, mass to continue. Thank you. That first reading is, was from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. And if you look in the Jerusalem Bible, uh, it sometimes highlights different paragraphs. And put, uh, in the Jerusalem Bible, it describes that parable as the letter, uh, sorry, Paul's prayer, a prayer of Paul. And it's quite, if we stop and think, listen to it, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. And it, it, Paul is praying for the church praying that the church might always be uh, the new members of the church, that they might always live according to the faith that they've received, that they might share it with others. And he prays that God may be, Christ may be in their hearts through faith, and that you may be grounded on love and rooted and grounded in love and be filled with everything. I think a beautiful prayer I've when I was in England working in a retreat house, I used it a few times as a, a kind of a meditation for, a, uh, for retreat groups. Uh, the prayer that, you know, as we, Paul wanted a, the church to, to grow and us, you know, although he was writing 2,000 years ago, it still valid us for us today that we carry the message of Christ to others. Uh, and we're not alone because God is with us the Holy Spirit working in us and through us can help us. And yes, there are times when there's discord within families, within the church, within the world, within society. I mean, we've only got to sort of see about presidential debates going on and things like that. Um, you know, but Paul, Paul was, uh, sorry, Christ in, in that gospel reading when he's talked about uh, being sort of, in the fighting, he was actually trying to talk more about the conflict within the Jews, those who believed in the message of the, uh, his message, and those who were just didn't want to accept it at all. Christ is the revelation of the Father. Christ came down on earth to save us, to show us the way to the Father, to show us how to live in our lives. And yes, there might be what we believe in, how our conscience uh, tells us might be different from those around us. But we have to try to do what is best in our lives, to try to bring the message of Christ to others. It's interesting that, again, talking about retreats, when I was in England, I used uh, sometimes a, a quote from Karl Reutier, who was the saint that we're celebrating today, uh, John Paul II, before he became Pope, when he was a cardinal, he went out, he was in Rome giving a Lenten retreat to uh, 
Pope Paul VI and the other cardinal and the cardinals in Rome. And the book is called A Sign of Contradiction, and in it there's a, a, his talks. And one of them he talks about a, um, a survey done in Poland in the 1970s about among students and other people, who is Jesus Christ for me? And what was the people's response to that question? And Paul was, uh, uh, John Paul II was, uh, uh, was here at the time, was asked in those, his audience, what, who is Jesus Christ for me? I always think it's a thing that we can stop and ask ourselves. Who is Jesus for me? How do I see Jesus? Do I see him just as a dying on the cross? Do I see Christ present in the Eucharist? But do I see Christ also in my prayer? Do I see Christ, as St. Patrick says, you know, Christ be before me, Christ be beside me, Christ be around me, Christ be before me. And one of the responses was a friend, one who is my, I can share anything with. You know, beautiful thoughts to think about. Who is Christ for me? And so perhaps those are my mixed thoughts for today's um, the readings today also thinking of uh, John Paul II in my room I actually have a, uh, a photograph of him saying mass and the person reading the, the prayers of intercession was my mother because uh, it was the celebration of the beatification of one of our Carmelites uh, who was in Dachau and put to death in Dachau during the Second World War a blessed Titus Brandsma and my mother got chosen uh, to be the person reading the prayer of intercession in English. So, quite, so whenever I think of John Paul II, I think of that and I pass that picture every day as I go in and out of my room. But anyway, as we gather here, let's pray that John Paul II, St. John Paul II will intercede for us and that also we might always be, be a witness to Christ in our lives, that we might always see Christ as our friend, that we might always see Christ within us and Christ in those that we come into contact with. And with confidence in God's mercy, we now present our needs and those of the world to our loving Father. For the gift of unity in the church, that God's laws of love and forgiveness may be in our minds and written upon our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our hearts, our homes, and our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have asked for our prayers and for those in special need of prayer, that Jesus may restore what is withered in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering, that they may find comfort and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mike Holsinger, whom we remember in a special way during this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the parish prayer line, the intentions in the parish prayer boxes, and our own special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we offer you all these prayers through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which others given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And 
and by the mystery of this water man may become share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and word of human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you. And Lord, wash away my iniquity. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice, which is yours and mine, may be acceptable to Almighty God. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and made what is offered through your glory and honour of St. John Paul II a means to our eternal salvation, and we pray this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ who is our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you made your church fruitful with strength ever new and you offer a sure, a sure signs of your love, and that our sa your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as one to the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time before he, on the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the word of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Lord, we favour on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the pastoral sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that, by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, deacons, those who serve your religious life, and your entire people. 
as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Michael the Archangel, with Pope St. John Paul II, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. And through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Gathered together as a church of God's family, we pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. We share a gesture of peace with those nearby. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. May the power of the gifts that we have received, Lord God, on this feast day of Pope St. John Paul II, fill us with its effects, both to sustain our mortal life and to gain us the joy of unending happiness. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thank you all for being here and have a good rest of the day. the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Blessed Mother, we pray with you to stop the abortion of innocent babies. We also ask for the protection from the coronavirus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let us pray for the gifts of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, 
especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of Jesus. Jesus was 30 years old when he was baptized by his cousin, St. John the Baptist. Jesus did not have to be baptized because he was born without original sin. He allowed himself to be baptized for two reasons, to show example for us and to make the sacrament of baptism holy. When he was being baptized in the Jordan River, the sky suddenly opened and a voice from God the Father was heard saying, this is my son whom I love very much. The Holy Spirit came down to Jesus so that God could save all people from sin. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of your mercy. Second Luminous Mystery the wedding feast at Cana. Mary, Jesus, and the twelve apostles were invited to their friend's wedding. At the wedding, they ran out of wine. Jesus asked the servants to fill the empty wine jugs with water. He then prayed to his Father in heaven, the water in the jugs turned to wine. All who are present were amazed, and their faith grew. Lord, bless our families with the children. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are the amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire. The third luminous mystery. Jesus proclaims the kingdom of God. Jesus teaches the people about God's love and mercy. He tells them that it is important to forgive, so you must ask for the gift of forgiveness. This is why God gave us the sacrament of penance, so we can receive the Holy Spirit, which gives us the willing spirit to avoid committing sin. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. Jesus went up the mountain called Mount Tabor, he took Peter, James, and John with him. While they were praying, Jesus' face turned brighter than the sun. His robes changed to sparkling white. The apostles experienced the joy and peace of heaven. They did not want to come down the mountain, but they knew they had to fulfill the mission that God had planned for them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be 
world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, save us from the fires. The fifth, the fifth luminous mystery. <clears throat> they help us to see and understand the public life of Jesus. The fifth mis luminous mystery, institution of the Holy Eucharist. At the Last Supper, the first Mass, Jesus told his twelve apostles that he was soon to be taken away and put to death by Roman soldiers. He also told them not to be afraid. He would perform a miracle where he would remain with them on earth. He would do this by offering his body and his blood as food under the symbols of bread and wine, which is our Holy Communion. This miracle we witness every day at Mass when bread and wine will be changed into the real body and the blood of Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the consecrated hands of our Catholic priests. <clears throat> the white host we receive at Holy Communion may look like a simple piece of bread, but at Mass it becomes the true body, blood, and soul and divinity of Jesus Christ. There is also a white host placed in the tabernacle in every Catholic church throughout the world. The red sanctuary lamp indicates that Jesus remains there so we can visit him at any time. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. but deliver us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, the sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. now and at the hour of our death. 
Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries, of the most holy rosary of the blessed virgin mary we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same christ our lord amen remember O most gracious virgin mary that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgin, our Mother. To you do we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The most sacred heart of Jesus. The most sacred heart of Jesus. The most sacred heart of Jesus. The Immaculate Heart of Mary. Freeze. No. and hero of sacrifice, steeped in humility and aflame with love for God and man. Bless him with zealous ministry in the confessional. In times of weakness, send him your spirit, and by the same Holy Spirit, put your words in his lips and your love in their hearts, to bring good news to the poor and healing to the brokenhearted. Amen. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy. We offer this chaplet for the souls in purgatory, for all of those who are sick and dying today, and especially for the priests that we are blessed to have here at St. Michael. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. 
O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. On this last decade, Lord, we choose to thank you for all of the blessings, those we notice and those we do not notice. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and his treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your moments in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> nor become, uh, despondent, but with great confidence, submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. St. Faustina, pray for us. St. John Paul II, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning.